Anyone, does anyone have a problem with that? Because that's what women do in the, in the bathroom. Because that's exactly what I do. So you have a problem. So this is now, now I've just explained to you what I do. Exactly the same as a cisgendered woman, right? Let me just say, that is just deliberately transphobic what people are doing right now. So that I've just called you out on and I've just literally called everyone out in the chat who's saying yes right now. Because if I'm doing it exactly the same as a cisgender woman, why do you think it's not fair? Do you know what I'm saying? Period. And if you're going to talk about my body parts, that's perverted as fuck because that's got nothing to do with the situation. If I'm sitting on the seat and I'm literally doing everything a woman does, why is that a problem? Now put a green in the chat if you are fully a trans ally and you agree with me. Right. If you present female, right, you shouldn't be stopped to go into the women's bathroom. If you present female, right, and you are respectful to every single woman in, in the bathroom, you do your business, you do your thing, right? You you do what women yell. Why is it such a problem? That's what I don't get. Do you know what I mean? If you are respectful, and they should be respectful back, it should be an equal thing. Be respectful to each other. It shouldn't be a problem. Babe, cisphobic is not a thing. Shut the fuck up. You are fucking delusional as fuck. I can't. You can live your life. Right, let me just... Tell you what cis is. A cisgender is where you're born of the same as you are right now. There is no such thing as cisphobic whatsoever. If you're going to say that, then that's the most fucking most ridiculous thing I've ever fucking heard in my entire motherfucking life. I'm sorry, but you have privilege where you can just walk the streets and not get fucking picked on for your identity. Whereas me, I have to put effort into looking female. So that doesn't make sense. So shove that up your ass. <laughs> That's your choice. It's not a choice to be trans, it's an identity. There are so many uneducated people. I'm just going to call you Tories. There are so many uneducated fucking Tories in my chat, I feel sick. Tories, you're a Tory. You're a Tory. You're a Tory. You're a Tory. Tory, Tory, have you any Tory? Tory, Tory, you're a fucking Tory. You're a fucking Tory. <clears throat> there is no one I see right now standing up for me and the trans community. No one in my chat right now. No one. Not a single fucking person. This shows how fucked we are as a society. I am. Okay, one person. Fair enough. All right. Respect for that. One person out of the fucking 3,000 is selling up for me. That one person has their head on. That one person has their head screwed on. Respect to you for that. A lot. Period. Okay. How many of you vote for Green Party? I want to see. I'm voting Green. I don't give a fuck about tactical votes. Shove that up your ass. I'm voting for Green for change. I don't care. I mean, how can you not vote Green? I'm sorry, but they're the best thing that could happen to this country. They actually are. Just because they're a small party doesn't mean they could, you know, like, something small could come so far. They could seriously really change the country. How many of you are voting green? 
Hmm. Do you know Reform's a racist party? So I don't really agree with that personally. They're very right wing as right wing as well. So I mean, in all fairness, I'm gonna be honest with you. No. Also, Reform is a supporter of Putin that invaded Ukraine and started a war. So, do you support that? No, I don't. I support Green Party. I support Palestine. I support the Green Party. I support trans rights. Rights. I support peace. That's what I support. I don't support the Tories. I don't even support the war of any sort. So, thank you very much. Oh, we're fucked as a society, aren't we? We're fucked. We are actually fucked. Lord. We're fucked. Yes, we are. <clears throat> God, jeez! Everyone putting everyone that's putting reform, we're fucked as a society, baby. It's like you are supporting the worst party you could actually like. Do you realise if if reform gets in parliament, it could cause World War Three? I'm not even kidding you, babe. So I mean, and, and NATO could turn on us. So, I don't really agree with that. Sorry, no. No, thank you. No, not, it's a no from me. It's a no from me. <clears throat> I support the Green Party. Do you, want to, do, do you want to know what the Green Party will do? And that reform won't do. Right, so the Green Party is going to insulate the homes, right? They would insulate the homes to make bills cheaper. We're talking cheaper living. Thank you. Yeah. They would tax the rich. The rich. They would take away tax in the poor, which reform wants to keep. So, I mean, if you want to be taxed as a poor person, vote reform. If you want to be not taxed, vote green. Um, so, basically... The green tax the rich. That will put fifty billion pounds into the economy. They're going to put money into the NHS, uh, which means there's going to be more wages for the NHS. How are you not voting green? This is literally what you've. Li I've seen so many people be like, the NHS is underfunded. There's like the, the Green Party will fucking sort that shit out. And it's a. And also, can I just say, she's a girl, as well. She's a girl. There are too many men in power. We need a girl. An LGBTQ plus girl. That will help so much. I don't care. I'm voting green. I don't give a fuck. Green is lit. Green is lit. I love green. What I've seen from green is really, really amazing. Honestly, like, what I've seen is that they want to really help the UK. I've seen the passion in their eyes. I think they're going to keep to what they say because... <coughs> Do you want honesty? <coughs> Parties that are not likely to win are the ones that are going to do what they say. Do you get where I'm coming from? The people that are getting the most votes are like, yeah, I'm going to get it all and I'm just going to sit in the power and get all my money. No, the people that are actually, like, really trying to get the votes in and be like, no, I can really do this for you. Like, seriously, we can do this. They got their head screwed on. Vote green. I swear down, if anyone votes green, you will save the fucking earth. I'm not kidding you. You'll save the UK. This is not just a vote. It's a vote for the, your children's future. If you're going to vote reform, you're fucked. I'm sorry. You're fucked in the head. I'm being honest with you. If you've got children and you want to vote Nigel Farage as your fucking prime minister, you're fucking deluded as fuck, love. I'm sorry. Put a green in the chat if you agree. Anyone that agrees with me. Racist. Racism. From Nigel Farage. Do you want a person who's racist in, in power? Do you know how much problems that will cause? 
That's just going to cause more more human right problems. It's just not going to be a good idea. On top of that, he literally said Russia was provoked into a war. I'm sorry. Like, just no. Like, I'm so absolutely not. Like, we don't want this. Because that's just going to cause more shit. I'm being honest with you. So, let me just say this right now. What the Green Party can offer is peace, right? And solution and they are eco-friendly so there would be more they would find ways to help power up um uh the uk in the safer way do you want that do you want to stop global warming because they're the ones that will stop it is that my mum 15 minute cities. I've heard about that. Anyway, I'm not going to say too much about it because I've got a big platform. I'm not going to say. Anyway, as I was saying, what I want, what Green said they would do. Do you want more money? Right, guys, how many of you want more money in the NHS? More, more accessible appointments, more mental health assessments, more less waiting lists, more wages for people who are. Because you know what reform won't do? They won't do that. They won't do that for the NHS. They just won't. What Green Party will do, because she's in... Can I, can I be honest with you right now? And I, I'm just saying this as a person, right? As, like, a person, right? The Green Party, right? I've spoken to Carla. She knows who I am. She's a co- she's a co-leader. So I, I've had a personal experience with the co-leader of the Green Party. Very lucky. I was like... She knows she said thank you after. I was like, slay. Okay, anyway. She cares about people she cares about listening to her voters she isn't a kind of person that won't reply she doesn't do that she replies she cares she um i'm voting green i don't care because one she's in the lgbtq plus right so she's gonna she's gonna make the rights for lgbtq plus youth easier she's gonna make life easier for trans people by a ton it's just going to be easier and it's going to be more better i'm voting green no one's going to change my vote i'm sorry i've looked at all the pies i'm not even kidding you i've looked at every single party labor's really bad labor's not good i don't know what the fuck the lib dems are doing and i don't reform is just a no so i'm sorry it's green for me green 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 all the way So how many of you are going to vote green? If you want a better life, vote green. I'm being honest. If you want a shit UK, vote reform then. I'm not going to stop you. But it's up to you. If you want to fuck up your life, it's up to you. Or if you want to fuck up your children's life, it's up to you. If you want an actual proper person that's going to sort the fucking country out, it's going to be, it's going to be green party. Because you know what they're doing? They are uh, they've got they they have councils everywhere and I, everywhere I've been they've had really good experiences with. So for them to have seats in Parliament would be very impressive. So that's that's all I think. They would handle situations so well. I can see how much she wants this. I can see how much she really just wants to put the country back together. I can really see it in her. I can, really, I can really see it. I don't really say that, but I can really see. She's like, I'm just sick of it. Do you know what? She's called out the toys before to, her, to their face. She was like, nah, you're, you're being a bitch. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I respect. She's got like a, a, a grudge in her. She stands up for herself. She's like a normal human. She's not like a robot. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, like Rishi was like this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, Yes, truly, yes. No, Carla's like, right, we're going to sort this out. We're going to put money into the NHS. We're going to do this. We're going to insulate the homes because that's what we need to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But this needs to be sorted and this needs to be sorted and that needs to be sorted and this needs to have funding. And the way we're going to get funding is this way and this way and this way and this way. She knows what she's doing. So I'm voting green. That's my, that's my vote. <clears throat> Are you seriously wanting Boris back? If you want Boris back, 
let's not forget he literally delayed um he literally delayed a lockdown and caused a really bad bad pandemic in the uk that killed millions of people so i mean if you agree with that then we're fucked <clears throat> yeah we're fucked Goodness gracious me. Oh my god, what if I was um what if I was Prime Minister? Oh my god. Do, do you wanna know what I would do? I wonder what I would do. I don't know if you'd agree with this, right? If you right obviously people are not gonna agree with the, like some stuff I'll say because I'm trans, etc. But let me just see, right? Okay, ready? So for example, right? If I was to be in power, right, and I had the power to do something, I would firstly make life easier for trans youth, trans individuals, because obviously I'm trans, so I'd make that a priority for me and everyone that, because that would lower the suicide rates and mental health rates by a ton. Um, one second. <coughs> I will enhance the Equality Act and legalise gender recognition. Um, I would also um, put money and tax the rich and put the money from the rich into the NHS and the economy, which would actually make universal credit higher for people. And on top of that, I would actually do what the Green Party would say, insulate the home so bills are cheaper. And I would, um, most importantly, um, because let's be honest, two hundred and fifty six pounds a month on UC is not enough to live on. Do you agree? Charming. You know I mean? If I was in power, I would one hundred percent go against the Israel um situation. I would tell Israel to do a ceasefire. I would advocate for that, and I would offer peace talks, and I would be all for free Palestine. That's my opinion. This is what I would do. Um, a diplomatic solution would be needed. Both sides ceasefire to stop it. Um, what else? Um, I would stop putting fucking money into nuclear bombs. There's no need for it. Put money into NHS or actually like things that could be put into the country, not to not for war. Because let's fucking face it. There's no really fucking point. Do you know what I mean? So much money is being wasted on these things where this money could actually be helping people and taking people off the streets. Like to build one nuclear bomb could cost like maybe a billion, right? That billion pound could be put into the homeless shelter and help people get homed. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really fucking understand. It's power and money that people want. So I'm not entirely sure how much it would cost, but do you know what I mean? Like, that enough money would just be enough, you know what I mean? Um, I would... I would offer diplomatic solutions to, to lower the tensions in the... in the... between Russia and Ukraine, and all signs. I would even tell the US to do so, because the way the world's going is getting more tense and tense and tense. So, I would absolutely lower the tensions because um, clearly there's a lot of things that are happening right now and it, and it's a hard decision, but you'd have to lower the tensions. How do you lower the tensions? Well, I'd probably, if I was in power, I would talk to the US about a security talk, um, a guarantee, um, and I would, I think security talks would be important. Um, and I would say that we don't want a war. I would say, I would say, we don't want a war. We don't want any of this. We want just peace. And we don't want a war. We want peace. That's it. I would say that from the UK to Russia, I would say that to Israel, I would say we just want peace, we, we, this war is not helping anyone, this is not helping a single thing, this needs to stop, This needs there needs to be peace talks, and there needs to be a ceasefire of both 
both sides, including Russia, Ukraine, and Israel and Palestine. I would, I would, that, that's what I would say. Probably won't change anything, but that's what I would say. I'd be like, we don't support war. Um, so that's what I would do. I would also, um, it's a hard, it's a very hard topic to talk about because it's like, you want to help Ukraine, right? I, I would be a person that would want to help Ukraine to help defend themselves. However, by them doing this, it could rise tension so high that it could lead to World War Three. So you have to kind of be like in a position where like, is this a good idea to provide such kind of weapons to that so that it can attack Russia because it could actually cause a nuclear war? So we, what I would do is I would provide packages to Ukraine civilians and provide transport for, to, for them to the UK if they lost their home. I'd give them, and obviously people would say, oh, overpopulation, overpopulation. No, babe, we could literally build so many fucking homes in, in fields and stuff like that. Do you know where I'm coming from? So I would try and lower the tensions in the in in the world, and I would also put more money into um, education. I'd also um, put money into because every uh, we need to rise the wage, rise the wages for teachers, because they're 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 essential. They're essential to have for everyone. Rise the wages raise the wages for NHS workers. That's talking carers, nurses, surgeons, doctors, everyone involved. Everyone. We're talking like cleaners. Everyone just deserves a rise, a pay rise, 100%, by a lot, because these are essential to have. Um, and they deserve not pen. They, they deserve not pennies. They deserve pounds, babe. They're heroes, so they deserve it. Um, and they, that's what they keep, that's, they keep what the country's going. So, yeah. I would provide support to Palestine. Um, I would provide money. Um, I would split the money between Ukraine and Palestine and I would provide one billion pounds to Palestine, one billion pounds to Ukraine for, uh, rebuilding their home, food, etc. I wouldn't provide any money to Israel because they were causing a genocide. So I would sanction them and I would say, we'll, we'll take away your sanction if you do a ceasefire. So then we could probably take away some sort of deal that they would have. Do you think that's quite smart? Because you're keeping the sweetness, like we'll sanction you until you stop this. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to sanction you. We're going to sanction something that we provide to you. So we'll stop it. And we're going to provide support to Palestine because you are causing a really big outrage in the world right now. Um, that's what I would do. I would also sanction any company that was providing support to Israel as well. And yeah, that's about it. I'd also rise the, um, I'd also rise universal credit if I could. I would. £256 is not enough to live on. I probably rise it to six hundred pounds. Now I get people want to work and stuff, but there are people out there that can't work. So, you know what I mean, six hundred. Yeah, that would help people quite a lot. And then I'd give people with children a thousand pounds of universal credit. They would deserve that. And that wouldn't ruin the economy because if I was taxing the rich, it would all work in favour and it wouldn't actually be taxing the poor. Because the rich are getting taxed. We're talking like multi billionaire millionaires that are playing with their money. Girl, tax them. We have a fucking massive lump of money now. We can now heighten living for people. And then put it into NHS. Like you don't realize if you if you tax the rich, then it's fine. You know what I mean? Because all these rich people are getting away with a lot of money. That could really be benefiting the fucking UK right now. And what the government's doing is taxing the poor 
and making them more poorer to the point where they're homeless and punishing the homeless, which doesn't make fucking sense because to be homeless on the streets, Rishi Sunak wanted to find them £2,500 with what fucking money, babe? So that doesn't make sense. So I, I would take that away. I would be like, well, if you're homeless, we'll provide you support because obviously you... I would also say this as well. Um, if you're homeless of any sort and you aren't from the UK, it would still be the same process as someone in the UK. I wouldn't change it for you. I wouldn't discriminate. It would be exactly equality for every single person. It would be a process. It wouldn't be, um, oh, because you're not from another country, it's not. It's going to be hard. No, 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 no. No, it would be easy for you. It would be exactly the same as someone else from the UK. You know what I mean? UK citizen doesn't really matter. If someone's homeless and clearly struggling, it they deserve a home so i take very much consideration to that like when people say like because i i had the conservatives say oh put them back on the boat send them back well no because they're running from their home they don't even have a home so you have money tax the rich build a whole load of fucking homes which you could easily do and home them that's what you could that's what easy if you just tax the rich the UK would be so good right now. We're talking, we could literally tax the rich and have a hundred billion pounds to play with. Do you get where I'm coming from? Like, we're talking, like... If you tax the rich, do you know what I mean? So... All I would say is I would I would actually do you know what I would do as well and this would be kind of I might get cancelled for this but I don't actually care I would talk to I would talk to Russia and I would say and I'll talk to all the nuclear states I'll say we need to we need to take away these nuclear bombs we need to take them away we need to disarm at the same time so nothing like that could happen. That's what I would do. Because I get it probably wouldn't, like, obviously, like, I would say that because it's clear that Putin wants power and money, and that's why he invaded Ukraine, so he could have land, power, and money. So the situation is, if I was in power, I would say, well, we need to just dismantle all nuclear, all nuclear weapons because it's dangerous and... It can't be won and it must never be fought. So what's the point of fighting it to get rid of them? What you could do is get rid of those nuclear weapons, turn it into money. Boom. You've got so much money again into the economy. I, I don't get it. It's all war. And this is what the government is investing in. It's all war they're investing into. They're investing into war, war, war. Not the poor, not the poor, the war. They're investing into war, they're investing into war, 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 defence systems, things like that. What's the point? This is why the UK is going to shit, because it's all going on war. Do you get where I'm coming from? It's a bit of a sensitive topic, I'm sorry to talk about so, but that's what I would... If I was a prime, if I was a prime minister, I would just advocate for peace and I would put the country back to fucking together <laughs> and also I would help people on benefits because I'm sorry but you can't fucking live off 256 pounds a month you can't live off that I'm sorry it's just it, it no that's not even a weekly food shop You can't live off that. You can't. That's not even normal for anyone. I would raise it to £600 from taxing the rich. Tax the rich, raise the universal credit for people. Now, people could say, well, it could stop people working and, and cause this. Not necessarily, because people could still get paid more than 600 I think 600 to £500 is a fair wage to people who are still finding work. No, you can't just print more money because that ruins the economy and the value of the pound. Yeah, so there's a book about it. 
if only if it was that easy. If you print more money, the problem is it would lower the value of the pound. That's what Liz Truss wanted to do, and that's what caused a lot. She almost fucked up the economy. Um, but basically, printing more money will just lower the pound value. No, Madison, I'm not. I closed my claim in way long ago, way long ago. <laughs> I don't get you seen. I haven't been on benefits for almost, like, for almost two years now. I don't get any of it because I follow the law. <laughs> Do you know how much pain it would be to declare all that money if you weren't on benefit? If you were on benefits. No, I, I, that's why. That's why I left ages ago. As soon as I, as soon as I started adding money on TikTok, I was like, no. Nope. I told the job centre, no, I'm all right. I'm gonna close my claim. I declared all my staff, and that's how I went. What's my income? Um. I think around like sometimes two grand a month. Sometimes it'd be higher. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm doing my tax return uh, on the 11th. And still, 2022 to 2023. Oh, such a pain in the ass. I have to send all my bank statements from the whole year as well. You know, paying tax is so good because if you pay tax, you can easily move into places and stuff. So always follow the law, guys. Don't ever avoid tax because you're just getting shit. That's why I never avoid it. <laughs> but you get pip though. No, I don't get pip. I would like to get pip because of my skin condition, but um, the cool thing with pip is you don't, you, don't, you don't get taxed on it, which is nice. <clears throat> I don't know why, do you know what, people, I saw somewhere where someone said, oh, it's not paying taxes or the other, and I was like, girl, you're funny. I'm not stupid, you know. I do my returns, you know, I put my money into that, you can Um, I just get help with it, etc. What is PIP? PIP is like, it's a personal independence. It's a personal independence. Is that what it's called? Personal independent pay. Am I right about that? It's a personal independent pay. Personal independent payment. Oh, okay. Because I've got... Because I got a, if I because because I got a skin condition, I'm actually eligible. I actually asked um, the council once, and I was like, "Am I eligible for PIP?" And they're like, "Well, I mean, you meet all this, you meet some of the criteria." Yes, you do. Because um, I've got a skin, I've got a lifelong skin condition, um, which does really like really affect me sometimes. I've got really bad mental health as well, so I would absolutely be eligible because I got my skin here. Oh here. Here as well. So and also and also it can cause me to get cysts and stuff. Here as well. So having that will, will make you eligible for PIP. So it's it's nice to be eligible for it. I might apply for it actually. But I'm not on it. Oh yeah, I've also got an autism assessment soon. I'm paying for it though. So I'm I'm I haven't told you that, but I don't need to tell you things, but I've got an assessment soon. So we'll see how that goes. Then when I get my diagnosis, I can be like, well, there you go, bitch. There you go. 
know what I mean? How soon? It could be. It could be as soon as next week, or the week after. It could be that quick. I'm just waiting for a call. Well, no, not a call. An email. <clears throat> I was already told by my cams worker when I was little I'm a suspected autistic, so because I stim a lot. Have you noticed in my lives all the time I stim? I can't help it. You you if you've been watching me for two years, you know I stim like pretty much all the time. My legs always go up and down, up and down, up and down. Now people can say, Oh, that's anxiety and like, I'm not nervous right now at all. I'm alright. Do you know what I mean? I do it when I'm off live as well, I just literally stim. You are harming our community. Our, I, I really don't. Shouldn't say this, but I really don't care about your opinion. I care about myself and I'll focus on me. I don't care about views, I don't care about anything. I will find myself and that's it. So, if I end up getting diagnosed autistic, I will have to be a part of your community, babe. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm 95% sure I probably will be, will be diagnosed with it. <clears throat> Someone said you won't know. Well, what happens if I do? The whole entire TikTok Cancellation will be fucking pointless then, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? So you want to be autistic. I just already know I sort of am. Do you know what I mean? I've already been told. It's not that I want to be. It's that I just know. Because, um, I don't really need to say too much, but I, I think it's quite fucking clear. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, with how blunt I am, and how fucking honest I am, even it can get me, it can get me, like, I can end up offending someone and I don't mean it. Like, I can also have special interests. Sometimes I have, like, special interests sometimes. Like, like Wicked is one of them. I've been singing that song every day for the past time. No normal person, I'm sorry, no non, no, no, no non-neurodivergent person would sing it for that long. So I've been singing for 12 years. Um, what else? Um, I go on to special interests and I go out quite quickly. So I go back and I go through and I go back and I go through. And then I, sometimes I have the most weirdest interests ever. Um, I get really hyper when I see something I, like, excite, like, excite me. Like, if someone, if I saw Define Gravity live, which I did today, I get really excited. <clears throat> um, what else? I get really overstimulated with loud noises. Like, there are certain things I can't deal with. Like, we're talking like, if the music is too loud, and, um, like, we're talking like way, way too loud. Like, screaming in my ear, I can't deal with that. Like, we're talking like, like crowds, I can't deal with that. Um, the Nicki Minaj concert like gave me a flip, like a headache. I had to leave at points and take a break. Um, especially at West End Live, I had to go to the calm place. What else? Just a lot, really. But you know what I mean. But they'll be asking me questions, so I mean, it's not definite. But I mean, my horoscope sign is Aquarius. Yes, I like Aquarius. It's it's good. <clears throat> Remember chicks. Do you know what I do um have a squeak? It's a squeak I have sometimes and it's when I'm nervous. That's that's all that really happens. It's like a neck thing for me and a squeak, that's it. That's all that I get though. That's all I get. <clears throat> I 
My mum's seen it as well. I can't help it. I, I, I literally apologise for it. I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's fine. What? You know what I mean? It's not funny at all. I don't think it's funny. I don't know why people are laughing at that. But I'm like, can you block that? Because I'm literally trying to open up. And people are just literally saying, okay, that what I mean? Don't fuck off. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? What? Thanks, mods. Yeah, just block these people. They're just like ridiculous. They don't understand me. No one understands me. <clears throat> yeah, my skin is getting better and better, which is lovely to be honest. It's less painful. <laughs> I hate the pain. I'm very grateful. It's so put on, it's insane. What do you fucking mean? <laughs> what do you actually fucking mean? I'm just literally drinking a fucking monster. I'm literally chilling. I'm literally the same as real life and online. This is what I'd be like in real life. You know what I mean? I don't know why you've got such a problem with me. <laughs> oh yeah, monster's banging in here. I love monster. It's good juice. Can I ask a question? If it's going to be offensive, no. And if you're going to be an asshole, no. I can't be asked. If you're going to be nice, yeah. That's me being blunt. That's how it is. Say how it is, babe. <clears throat> Favourite monster? I like the mango loco. It's nice. Can you answer my question? Didn't see it, love. Excuse me. Uh, that was a bad, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, this is a drink. <clears throat> so please don't think everything's a tick, okay? Because that just annoys me. Shall I mean? Um, my favorite takeaway. Don't know. I mean, I like a roast dinner. Roasting is nice. Uh, Jade, thank you for listening to me, by the way, Jade. Like, Jade, I've been opening up so much, but people have been such assholes to me. <laughs> God, I fucking block those. But, yeah, it's how it is, isn't it? Excuse me. <clears throat> I shouldn't really reply to the hate, but, but, oh, it just annoys me. I'm being nice. Okay, well, that's nice. I appreciate you for that. It's just the assholes who don't, who think they know me, but they don't know me. Because they, they see online, right? But they don't see me in real life. They don't, they're not with me 24-7. It's like my mum is sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Like my family, my friends. And they know, like... And sometimes I, I I can't deny it. Like I generally get a squeak and and a head jolt. It's how it works. It's, it's when I'm really nervous or I'm in an awkward situation. It just happens. Can't fucking help it. I really can't. And I and I was friends with someone with Tourette's. I'm not kidding you. And it was a Manchester, and I and I, I it just happened. And he was like, "Oh, okay. You know what I mean." And that wasn't even on live stream, so you have to remember this, you know what I mean? So, I just feel like the internet, right, likes to put something in a narrative, but they don't really understand me. No, I don't have Tourette's. I suffer with a jolt and a squeak on my head when I'm in an awkward, nervous situation, which I don't know what it is, in all fairness. I can't actually comment on it because I don't know. It's involuntary, so I don't know what it is. It's, it's just one thing, but it's involuntary. Could very well be anxiety, you know what I mean? Could very well be. We need to find out, get to the bottom of this, this is what the assessments are for, which I'm going to, so this is what it's for. Hmm. 
I don't know if this is anything as well, but when I'm in bed, right, I don't know if this, this is probably a normal thing, to be honest, but does anyone get this right? Your your body just goes... Like, it's, it is like your body, like, goes into a... It, it jumps for no reason. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is it a position I'm in or something? How do I stop that? Because that really pisses me off sometimes. Yeah, that happens. It honestly, when I'm on my when I'm on my phone, it just goes up. Like it's just what the hell? Like my body goes like into like an out of body experience and then back to normal. <clears throat> Could be like asleep though, to be honest. I don't know. Probably like asleep. It's very common. Oh, good to know. Because I was actually, I thought, I, was, I thought that was actually really scary, to be honest. I thought there was something wrong. So that's good. It was very common. That's fine. <clears throat> it's a nervous system response. What's it from, though? Because, like, what is that from? Because that really confuses me. Because I don't want that to happen. So, like, I don't like it. It's weird. Is it because of stress? Your girl's stressed. Your girl is stressed. <laughs> I can tell you one thing I was diagnosed with migraines. They are the worst fucking evil, disgusting thing ever. And you know when it happens? You feel sick, you want to vomit, and then... So I, I vomited once. Um, it was fucking horrible. And the, 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 the heaviness in your head is so unreal. It's, it's evil. And it doesn't go away. Like, if you don't catch a migraine, it can stay there for days. And it and it's, it's really stopped me going to sleep before. It's really bad. It's like horrible. I couldn't even go on my phone once. I thought I, I actually, I actually thought like you know I mean? it was really bad. I couldn't even look at lights, and I generally felt I couldn't even eat. I felt so sick. But um, do you want to know a little tip? Does anyone suffer migraines? Because I, I was told this by a doctor. I don't know if anyone was told this right. Get an uh, get an ibuprofen, right? Get one, down it with a fizzy drink, like really fast, it will go. Trust me when I say it, it will go. Like you need like a pop soda, anything like that, it will go. You need ibuprofen, not paracetamol, that won't do anything. Ibuprofen, down it. You're going to try it. Has anyone got a migraine right now? If they know they got it. Because if you if you got soda pop right now and you got an ibuprofen, have it right now and let me know the results in 40 minutes. Why fizzy? Um, because um the fizziness gives you higher blood sugar because your blood sugar lowers when you're on a migraine and it thickens your blood. So you need to have sugar in your body. And then the ibuprofen will lower the inf inflammation in your in your head. Migraines are caused by stress as well. So it's like a it's like a, so if you have a shot of fizzy soda, an ibuprofen, down it, you'll be absolutely fine. Swear down. That's what I do. And my migraine takes around twenty minutes to go away. It's very good. A, a, a GP told me that. A, a GP fully told me that. Um, I was put on tablets once, but they didn't really work. They prevented it, but during it, they didn't really help. <clears throat> but yes, I do suffer with stress migraines. So if I'm stressed, uh, before a migraine, right? Does anyone see this? I don't know if this is like... A, a, a normal thing I've had it is you see like orbs 
it's like it's like electric and it's like and it's like this how can I explain you don't even see it's not a colour it's like it's like it's like veins it's not veins but it's like lines and it's like it's not rainbow, but for me, for me, it's like it's like whitish, but you don't. It's not. It's not. But you don't know. You can't actually tell the color. It's just like like. But it's hard to explain. But that's what I get before a migraine. <clears throat> that's when I know it's a migraine. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I need to sort that out. Um. It's like always. Oh, yeah. Exactly. It's like it's very interesting. It's like they move around like worms. It's like a worm pattern. For me, they move around like worms. If you want to prevent a migraine, try and try and lower your stress as much as possible. That's what I try and do sometimes because even though, like, I notice I, I've been getting like really bad migraines before in Manchester, and it's from the hay, and the hay was stressing me out, so that's why I kept getting migraines. And I notice if I just if I just like fucking cut it out, it goes away. No worries, no worries, Jane. No worries. It's nice to talk to you like on a personal level. Do you like me talking to you on a personal level? Obviously, you know there's groups about me probably watching me right now, commenting like, "Oh, I, Alpha makes my blood boil." This, like, but you're here in, in the now, my people, and you you enjoy me. So those are the ones I want to focus on. You know what I mean? Because anything I do, good or bad or anything, everyone's just got something to say. So it's no fucking point even trying to have a losing fight with trolls, isn't there? You know what I mean? It's no point arguing with them because it's, just gonna, it's a losing fight. It's no point. They just... It's just no point. <coughs> you stitch your own terms on what you want to answer. I fucking do, babe. A million percent. I won't let anyone tell me what to do. That's how it works. The only person who can tell me what to do is my mum. That's it. Listen to your mum. Listen to yourself. That's what I say. I miss my mum. I might get on call for her in a minute. Sorry. She's still awake. Yeah. Oh, you know, so I hate it when you get like a gooey eye. That sounds gross, right? But hear me out. It's satisfying and it's horrible. Where is it? Oh, there's no eye goo. That's good. <clears throat> Ninety nine percent of our comments aren't going through. It's because of what words. <clears throat> Robin, are you here? What I'll probably do uh, is, oh, you're here, babe. Could you um, remove any keywords that aren't needed? You know what I'm saying. Like, the ones that, like, are important keep up, but I'll give you permission. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you got it. Robin has been my mod for around, I think, almost a year. Is it? No, it can't be almost a year. It's been six months. Six months, definitely. No. Four months? Four months. Four months. So, and she's a mod that hasn't turned on me. And she doesn't actually like talk to people, which is nice because she's a mum herself. So she doesn't do that. That's why I like her. 
you know, she's a, she's got, um, right, Robert, am I allowed to say this? Because I don't want to say without your permission. About the uh, spectrum, spectrum. You know what I'm saying. You trust me? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll say it then. <clears throat> so Robin has um, autistic children and she 100% says to me, I've definitely got it. She, she said this to me on the call. She's like, yeah, you, you're on the spectrum because um, it's because of like, she's, she's seen me personally, like on the call, not on live. And I'm kind of the same, but I'm kind of more quiet, uh, less, because I'm not in front of an audience, so I'm just very much more chilled. Um, so when I, when I'm, I, you know what I mean? So she definitely has a say in it, you know what I mean? And also she's a mum as well. And she's got lovely cats. I like her cats. I'm obsessed with her cats. I would like to see more cats because cats are cute. <clears throat> Robin has quite a lot of cats and I'm a, I'm kind of jealous in all fairness. And cats are, are amazing. Behave, I will behave. I'm sorry, but your cats are cute and I have to be honest with that. So. Yeah. Welcome. Also, I've seen Robin. She's so pretty. She's slaying. Jade, I love you, girl. Welcome to the clan, Jade. Welcome to the clan. Also, Robin um, feels safe from me going into the women's toilets, by the way. And she's a born woman, so. Yeah, I mean. She's an ally. Very important. <clears throat> As many people like to come against me because I'm trans, but I don't say that. Um, Ghosty, thank you, darling. Hi, Missy. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> and he's coming right out of Birmingham. <clears throat> Last time I was like, I got spiked. <laughs> Not every shit. <clears throat> yeah, I went to just no. Um. That's not your fucking business, love. You're, are you trans? Because maybe fair enough, if you were trans, you'd have a little say in it. However, if you're not trans, keep your mouth fucking shut. Keep it shut. <clears throat> I'm trans. Okay, if you're just going to say you're trans just to get attention in the chat, that's fucked up. I don't fucking like that. You're an asshole if you do that. If you're actually, like, saying, like, you're trans because you're trans, slay. Fair enough. Um, If it's fact, slay. Fair enough. Respect. But I think any trans people that are listening right now and agree that if someone was saying they're trans for attention to get my attention in the chat, they agree that's a bit fucked up. Do you agree with that? So say, is that what you do? I've been growing my hair out for four years. If I wasn't trans, I'd be cutting my fucking hair and I wouldn't be, I'd be growing out a fucking beard. I would be looking, I would, I'd be not styling myself. I don't fucking understand like how people don't actually see I've been socially transitioning quite a lot. Do you know what I mean? Like makeup. This is all part of social transitioning. Styling myself, my jumpsuits, things like the other, like, I've been finding my style and I know what I, I know what my style is now. I like casual and I like a little I like a little I like a little flare. I'm obsessed with a little flare at the bottom. It's 
So I like a little flower. I like a little flower. You know flowers? Oh, I love flowers. I'm obsessed with flowers. Some put grand edges. Right, I have size 11 feet. I don't like it. I wish I had smaller feet because then I could fit into more shoes. However, God didn't give me that. So I'm, I've got size 11. So it's very hard to find size 11 heels. I've never found them. And the last pair I had, I threw them in a bin because they were too high for me. So, yeah. Matty, thank you, darling. London FND Cancer Survivor. Fucking hell, you're a legend, aren't you? Fucking hell. You're a proper warrior, you are. Nice to meet you, Matty. I think anyone that has fought cancer is a fucking iconic queen and incredible. And you're the most beautiful. I think you're fucking brave as fuck. So that's my opinion. That's. If people want to catch me for that, I don't care. I just say, I just think you're fucking incredible and brave and very, very strong. And I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. So, yeah. Robin, I want to talk about you. Am I allowed to? Am I allowed? <laughs> Now, Robin, I want people to give love to Robin in the chat, please. Right, so Robin, this is about your journey. Can I, can I talk about it? Yes, okay. So Robin's a cancer survivor as well. How fucking incredible is she? She's a mum of cats, children, and her husband. <laughs> And she fought cancer and she was given the all clear recently. So can we put a clap in the chat for Robin, please? How incredible and brave and iconic she is. What a woman. What a fucking woman, girl. What a woman surviving cancer and beating cancer. I'm so proud of you. Matty, thank you, darling, for the hearts. You don't have to do that. So I just want to say, to anyone that paints me out to be a bitch online, I'm not a bitch. I just want all of you to understand that Robin has seen through all the shit I've gone through, and she's seen it live. Like, she's seen me be framed. Robin, have you... Can we, have we lost count the amount of times that people have tried to frame me for stuff? We've lost count, haven't we? We fully are fucking lost count. Like, people have tried to frame me for so much shit, and Robin has literally proved so much stuff that was lies. It was so incredible. She's good. She's she's good at, um, at proving these haters. <laughs> frame such as, can you name it? Robin, can you name it? Nash wants to know. I think... Framing people and lying about people is so wrong in my opinion. Like, I just wouldn't like do that and for views and money. It's crazy. Oh, Robin, do you want to join? I'll let you in if you want. I'm so bored. I've got no one to talk to, so I might as well. Do you want to come on? What has someone framed you for doing that? Robin's been through like the shits. I have been through it all. And she she fully cried once because she saw like what I was going through mentally for all this hate and she was so, so sweet. I just want to say like my mum and I really respect you for this a lot. Like for not switching and for always standing by what's right because I can actually say maybe Robin's my Glinda and she sees through, she sees the truth and people paint me as wicked, but I'm not as wicked as people paint me out to be. It's crazy. And Robin is seeing through all the shit 
and she has stuck by because she knows so many people lie about me. Let's see if I can get Robin one. Robin. Robin. Robin, can you come in? Oh, there you are. Right, let me follow you back. How's I not? Right, I'm actually so sorry for not following you back. Right. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it echoing? I can't hear you. No. I can't hear you. I can see you, but I can't hear you. Restart your app and come back. Robin, restart your app and come back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, here we are. La 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 oh, yeah. But yeah guys, Robin um has seen through all the shit I've been through. And she um she's seen it all. She's actually like seen behind the scenes. Cause like there was one time where I was literally on call to her and then at the same time someone tried to frame me for something, saying I was on that situation but i was on the court to, to robin the entire time and we both laughed <laughs> right here she comes here she comes here she comes can you hear me now oh i don't know can i hear you no nope. <laughs> <laughs> i restarted What? I've got no idea what you're saying. <laughs> I'm trying to mute. I keep talking. Right, I can lip read that you just went all. <laughs> no, I just see your mouth moving. Thank you for the heart part. I don't want any gifts, so thank you. Give them to Elfie. For her um, mouth movements and trying to make me lip read. I have no idea what she said. I came out and rejoined, I closed the app and restarted the app and everything. No, nope, I have no idea what you're saying. Thank you everyone. Honestly, just give them to Elfie. It just sounds like I can hear a lot of water. Like your phone's in the water. Wait, can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Wait, Robin, can you hear me here? Like, if you're off the live? Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Robin, start a live yourself and I'll, I'll request you. So start a live yourself 
and I'll battle you. Not, not battle you, but like you can start a live yourself and I'll bring you on and I'll request you and co-host. That, that might work because it saves me restarting because I've got an audience already and it's going to be hard to regain it because it's so late. Somewhere over the rainbow, we hope I... Oh, wait. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll restart. Are, you, are all of you going to come back? Will all of you come back? Will all of you come back? Because we can twat to Robin. Okay, are you all going to come back? You better come back, please. Come back. Okay, alright, I restart, I restart, I restart. Robin, stay. No, you can't stay because I'm going to have a live. Just stay on the line and I'll request you.